Folks, let's get ready for this segment we call cross-examination of Giselle's Twitter account. What? Dirk, uh, pull up Giselle's Twitter page, please. So if you look on screen here, you had this tweet. You said, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. True. Unless the baby is in a Gaza hospital. What did you mean by that? You're going to have to ask Dirk. No, we, we just pulled up screenshots from your Twitter page. We have more if you don't want to speak to this. Uh, Dirk, pull up Giselle's next tweet, please. You said, we all must stand with Israel. Okay, I could get behind that. I mean, do you really want Hamas running Hollywood? Oh my god. Ooh. I didn't write that. That one's really bad. Wait, what do you mean? Well, I can actually kind of see your point here, because Bollywood, the Indian film industry, is kind of like silly and goofy. So if Hamas took over Hollywood, it would I feel like it would kind of be on par and the movies would really take a dip in ratings. I mean RRR was an awesome movie though. Like that was a sick movie. Yeah, but can Hamas live up to RRR? I don't know. So you kind of like how Hollywood is current with the current regime running it? Uh, I mean, probably not. So that's supposed to huh. mean. Interesting. All right, let's pull up her next tweet. You said, in the Gaza Strip, Palestinians are facing food shortages and mass starvation. I guess Ramadan came early this year. Oh my god. I mean, my problem with this is it doesn't really make sense because Ramadan already passed. So how could it come early? What did you like? Did you realize that when you tweeted this? I guess not if I actually tweeted it. It's a little ignorant if you, you ask with, me. What are you going with the Roseanne defense? What was she on when she made that? Uh, she was on. Um, was it Adderall or something? No. No. Ambien, Ambien yeah, which is one of our sponsors. Giselle's going for the Ambien defense. I mean, Roseanne's a good um, mentor for Twitter debacles, which you're currently experiencing. <laughs> I think she has a couple more tweets we found. This one's extra disgusting to me because look at the date on this one. So the uh, the horrible attacks we know of by Hamas occurred on October 7th. Giselle tweeted this the night of the attacks. She said, running away and taking cover from Israel's bombs is anti-Semitic. This is a blatant disregard for Israel's wishes and a waste of their artillery. So you're saying like if uh, Palestinian civilians are hiding from Israel's attacks, it's an anti-Semitic uh, action because Israel wishes to kill those folks or disperse them from this planet. And they're actually wasting their artillery, yeah, which is actually a waste of the taxpayer's dollar in America because we're paying for those bombs. Disrespectful. Israel, as we know, is funded about a few billion uh, dollars a year by the US government, uh, which is good because I think they actually need more bombs. But we have one more tweet from Giselle here, which is a little interesting. Oh my God. So also the same night of the attacks, a little later that night, 8.37 p.m. One minute, one minute later. One minute later. You said, <laughs> oh my God. all you tweeted was human shield. Why does it say 459 views? This one got a lot of- uh, yeah, yeah, you got- yeah, what? your followers love this one, apparently. <laughs> so you said human shields, which is a little ambiguous, but then you replied to yourself and just said, LOL. What time did I say LOL? That's a great question. Yeah, I'm not sure. You tell that us. That could have been after the Ambien. <laughs> All right, well, we have to get to our guest in a few oh, minutes. Okay. It's not really a tweet anymore. I mean, do you have any closing statements on these horrific I would like to know that, if she does. These, like these horrific statements you've made? I didn't make them. <laughs> That's what everybody says, sweetheart. Everybody says that. 
I swear it wasn't me. <clears throat> yeah. It wasn't Derek Chauvin either, was it? That wasn't his boot. <laughs> was he wearing Doc Martens? Maybe. Was it? Wasn't his knee. It wasn't his knee. It was a prosthetic. That's the pharmaceutical company's problem now. All right, let's. Uh... Making a 